Welcome to our daily devotions from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're glad to have you with us as we continue to bring God's word to you even in the face of our difficult times. Our scripture reading for today comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. For we know that if the tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling. If indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. For we must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. That's the very thing that Paul is teaching us in this particular scripture lesson, isn't it? That Christ is risen and that one day we too also will rise from the dead. That's Christ's promise to us. Paul speaks about it at first in terms of getting dressed or undressed. He says we're not waiting to be unclothed, to be taken out of our body, for our spirit to be floating around in some mysterious fashion like a ghost for eternity. Rather, we're waiting to be further clothed, for this body to put on immortality, for this sinful nature to put on a not sinful nature, the nature of Christ. This is an important thing for us to understand and to believe. Because in the future, for each and every one of us, there awaits an end. An end in this sinful world. An end of our lives and the way that we know them. What will happen at that time? When will that day come? Well... We might not ever know when our hour of death draws near, but we do know what will happen. We will not be left separated, body and soul, forever. Rather, we will be resurrected to live with Jesus, to be in his kingdom, to be before the face of God, to have peace and comfort and joy. We will live further clothed, not just in this broken, sinful body, but rather in a holy, complete, sin-free body, a body that shall not hunger or thirst, a body that will not suffer, a body for which there will be no cancer, no dementia, no Alzheimer's, no Parkinson's, no disease at all. A body that will not suffer and toil, but instead will be cared for loved, provided for, a body that will live forever without sin, without death, in the world that is to come. St. Paul says, we long to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. And as we wait for that to happen, we walk by faith not by sight. That's why we're bringing these devotions to you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by reception of the Lord's Supper. That's why we bring to you the Lord's Supper in our drive-up, shut-in style communion. Faith comes by baptism. 
where all of our sin, guilt, and shame was washed away, and a new man arose to daily live before God and before one another. We wait to put on the immortal nature. And that time and that date is coming. Coming very soon. We can be sure of this because our Lord has promised it. The same Lord who went to the cross, who suffered, bled, and died to forgive all sin, to take away death, who rose from the dead to guarantee to us that we too shall live forever. That's our hope. That's our faith. That's our trust in this Easter season. For Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God the Father in heaven, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, us, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, us, good Lord. Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil. From the crafts and assaults of the devil. From sudden and evil death. From pestilence and famine. From war and bloodshed. From sedition and from rebellion from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver Lord. us by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help, help us, us, good, good Lord, Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Help us, good, good Lord. Lord. We poor sinners implore you to, to hear us, us O Lord, Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers and to tur turn their hearts to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth and graciously to hear our prayers we implore you to hear us good lord 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we, we implore you to, to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant, grant us, us your, your peace. peace. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life, we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, the consolation of the sorrowful and the strength of the weak. May the prayers of those who in any tribulation or distress cry to you, graciously come before you, so that in every situation they may recognize and receive your gracious help, comfort, and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ever-present Lord. You have promised never to leave us nor forsake us, but to abide with us to the end of time. Grant that those who live alone may not be lonely, but find comfort both from your promises and fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors all their days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, give us grace to trust you during this time of illness and distress. In mercy, put an end to the epidemic that afflicts us. Grant relief to those who suffer and comfort all who mourn. Sustain all medical personnel in their labors and cause your people to ever serve you in righteousness and holiness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.